Hi there, it's Stephanie, and I just wanted to show you the slide background fill command in PowerPoint. I stumbled across this on the weekend. Um, normally I would use a transparent um, fill for an effect like what you're seeing here, where there's an image in the background and um, another image in the foreground, and obviously it's punching through, so it's creating a transparent effect. I would usually use um, uh, just a fill on an object and increase the transparency to 100%. But um, I have a different technique here, this slide background technique, which I found had a couple clear advantages. Let me show you. So first off, if I just grab this rectangle and move it around, you can see it is acting like a transparent object. It's filling in whatever's in the background of the slide accurately to wherever this object, this rectangle, is positioned. And and this is the, uh, the clouds here are actually in the background of the slide. So if I right click on the slide and choose format background, you can see the fill is a picture fill and the file is the clouds itself. It's important to note that because this effect won't work if you actually just use the insert picture command and brought the clouds into the slide. It actually has to be the background fill of the slide. Okay, now with that said, let me show you how it works. So I'm just going to go into the Shapes menu. I'm going to grab a cloud because we're dealing with clouds. And I'm going to right-click, Format Shape, and instead of the Solid Fill, I'm going to choose Slide Background Fill, and then click Close. And you can see that it comes in. I can move it around. It's keeping up. It knows, it knows where it is on the slide and filling it in appropriately. And uh, then I can apply some special effects. So I can go to the Format menu and let's say the preset of this bevel here which creates a pretty cool effect. Now, conversely, let's show you the other technique. So if I grab that exact same cloud, and this time I'm going to keep the blue fill, because that's the default, and all I'm going to do is, is just increase the transparency to 100%. So here I have the exact same thing. I can move the cloud around, and I can see what's behind. There's no, no issues at all. The issues come in when you start to apply special effects, because this object, when you have a transparent fill, needs to have an outline. Let me show you. If I go to the Format menu, choose Shape Effects, and grab that same bevel effect, the minute I do, the object disappears. And the reason why is because the shape effect, this bevel effect, doesn't use an outline. So when you don't have an outline and you have 100% transparency, you essentially have nothing. You, it, it displays nothing on the screen. So for this 100% trans transparency to work, um, with some kind of outline or special effect, you do need to have an actual outline on it. The minute I, t I put the outline back on, you see that it is there and I can move it around and all that stuff. It looks different from this effect because I'm forced to have an outline. Now I can make the outline subtler, I can make it lighter, I can make it thinner, I can make it almost not there, but it does have to be there to apply a shadow or any other special effect. So you can see over on this slide here, the background fill is the cloud with a balloon. It's a, just a single image, and that's the background fill. On the slide itself is a rectangle and some text. This rectangle, you can see, has absolutely no outline on it. So it just creates, a, I think, a, a more polished look. You know, gives you, you know, you're not forced to have to put in an outline. And then it has a shadow. As I drag it around, it knows where it is and fills it in appropriately. So you can create some cool effects. Now, this also works if you have objects on the screen. So in this case, let's just say I want to fill the uh, monitor with some clouds. Now, there's a few different ways that I could have done this, but since I'm showing you the slide fill, let's do that. Um, format shape, the fill is a slide background fill, and just like that, it punches right through. So even if I grab both of these objects now and move them around the screen, it's going to pick up wherever the objects are, and it's going to fill in the appropriate cloud image. Now, this is working, surprisingly enough, even with the monitor filled with the original content. So before, I would have actually cut that out and made it transparent and then move the monitor around. But when you use this technique and place it, place it on the monitor, it actually is the top layer and it punches all the way through everything else behind it to get to the background fill. So that opens up some other interesting design tech, uh, techniques that you might want to use in PowerPoint. Um, Conversely, if we just did the solid fill and we increased the transparency to 100%, it would just give us a transparent box and we'd just see the full monitor. So it's actually not punching all the way through to the background fill. So hopefully you found that, uh, found that interesting. The, the, the trick here is that the background fill has to contain the image that you're wanting to punch through. It can't just be an image that's on the, on the slide. It has to be the actual background fill. Other than that, I think it opens up some new possibilities. Thanks.